hello everyone in the last video we have made our book page and we have added some books and we have shown this table inside our website and we have shown the books according to the alphabet now today we will work on our feedback page so let's open our feedback.php page and then you see we have already added our navigation page so we will include our connection page now inside our feedback page so let's write include connection.php and then write html format and the title will be our feedback then after this inside the header after title we will include the links of our style sheet and our bootstrap link so we will just copy them and paste them now yes everything is all right after this we will start writing our code and inside this head we will also write our style tag and inside this we will first style our body tag so we will add our background picture in our feedback page so for this we need to style our body tag and you can add this inside the body tag too by writing style inline or you can add them here in the style dot css page too and we will write it inside the feedback page only and here you can see how to write background image so we just will copy this format and let's add the background image and we just need to change the name of our image so let's go to the htdoc folder inside our jamp here inside images folder we will add this one 66 and this is a jpg file so let's add them okay and the folder is actually same the name images so we don't need to change the direction we just need to add the folder name and the image name now if you open this you can see the picture is added now we will add some writings here and we will add a comment box too so let's go to our body tag and inside this body tag we will start by writing first we need to create a div box here and inside them we will start by writing an h1 tag and we will write if you have any suggestions or any comment please write here or comment here okay comment below so let's just refresh this and you can see the writing is here now we can just make it a little bit smaller the font is a bit too bigger we don't need that big writing okay now it's all right now you see that we cannot see the writings properly because of the background image so we will create another class here and we will just make no, so we will just add some styling for this class and we will make it a box and make it transparent with another background color so we will need to write it inside our style tag again we need to write the class name and then inside second bracket we need to style it and don't forget to add the dot sign before the class name if you are styling it normal tag like body or something else then you just write the name but if you style any class then you need to give a dot sign before the class name now after this we will add some height and height now 
now let's give it a background color let's say we will add black now you see there is our box and we will write everything inside this and we will make our word white so we can see it properly let's change the opacity to 0.8 and color will be white okay now you see the work is done so now we just need to move this box in the middle position and for that we will add some padding and some margin padding will be really small because we need to start it from the very starting of the page and then we will give it a margin let's say 20 pixel and auto so they will automatically resize them and be in the middle position and in the top position there is a little gap so we will just need to reduce the margin on the upper and lower position so let's give it minus 20 and you can see this is all right okay now after this div okay we are at, we will write everything inside the div box so we need to write them inside here and what we will do we will create a form here and we need to write the style name and other things for the form tag if you want to add any styling you can add it here like some background color or something if you want to add for the form and method will be post then for input we will write the type as text because we will write the comment and comment will be text type and the name let's say comment and after this placeholder what you need to see inside that box you can write it anything inside the placeholder okay we will just give it write something okay now after this we will add another button so input type will be submit and the name will be also submit remember you can give any name this doesn't mean that you have to name it as submit or something but the type will be submit and then value give it a value what you want to see inside the button we will make comment button so we will write comment or you can give reply or something else okay now let's see how it looks like you see there is our form with two button now we just need to style it and add some bootstrap class to make it looks better so Let's add some class inside the input tag. So class name will be form and then control form dash control and then the for the button we will add some class here. It will be button and then button default. now you see the 
format is changed so we just need to add some width and height for both of them so let's change our our style our form control class so dot form control and then we will add the styling you can add this inside our style tag too so we are adding here height will be let's give oh, okay let's give 70 pixel okay so the height is this much and now the width will be you can give it as percentage or give it as pixel width 60 percent of the total total width of the div box okay now you see now we just need to resize our comment button and let's add some break before this okay we need to remove this letter we can just add one break for now let's just style this first we can style inside the tag too i have already said that let's just style this inside the tag we need to add style and then inside second quotation we will add white which will be 20 pixel and then let's see okay this is too much small let's make it 100 okay now it looks good and every word is shown now let's change the height height will be 20 so okay 35 now let's change the break okay now everything is perfect we will keep it like this now if we write something here and press the comment button that comment will be added in this page so we need to show it inside this page and for that we need to start writing here our php code So we will write this PHP code inside another div box and we will start our PHP and then end it. Inside this tag we will write our PHP code. First we will write if the button is pressed then something will happen and for that we need to write is set. And inside the variable there we will write dollar underscore post and then third bracket inside single quotation we will write submit now inside the second bracket we will create another variable called SQL and then we will give our SQL query here so let's just create our database table first okay inside the library there we will create another table called comments and then the column let's say one for now we will change it later and for now the column name will be comment we will give the same name as the form input comment table name is comments and the column name is comment and then the type will be the character types and then the length let's say 500 and save okay so inside this table comments there is one comment here in our table and if we browse this there is no value here for now if we 
add anything inside the comment box and press the comment button then here we will insert that value inside our table comments so write the query insert into then table name comment comments table name and then values there is only one column so there will be only one value for now and then semicolon then inside single quotation we will give dollar underscore post then third bracket and inside this we will write the column name and that will be include this name inside our form the input name and the column name is same so we can just copy and paste them okay so make sure that the column name and that name that you wrote is equal or if they are written in a wrong form then you cannot insert the value in the table so double check them every time and then let's write mysql i query and inside them write the variable from the connection page dollar sign db was our variable and then we need to give our sql variable and now if we write something here and press the comment button in if we go to our table you will see if we browse this you can see that comment here the comment is inserted successfully so now we need to show these values inside these pages in our feedback page and now inside this if condition if the button is pressed and if this query is run remove the semicolon and add its first bracket so we are writing another if here so if this is done if this query runs successfully that means if the value is inserted then we will show our value in a table inside the feedback page or we will load the page every time the button is clicked so what we need to do is we can see that okay sql query here and let's just input some other values too so we can see it let's say we are inputting another value okay so now whenever we browse this page you see the second comment is actually saved in the second position but we need to add it in the first position because we need to add the comment that kept in the last position in the first so, so we need uh, we need to add an id here as another column so that we can make it as descending order by their id so we can get the number to compare which one is actually came later which message or which comment came later so let's add another column here before comment column this will be our id and let's give it integer type and length you can give it anything and then let's go to the right side and you will see here automate ai automate auto increment you need to click on this and press go okay so, so we are giving it auto increment so this value of id will be automatically incremented every time a new comment come so let's save this and now browse this you see there are our two id and here our id name which message came first so that's how we can now compare this by our id so we can know that which comment came last in the table or which comment was made last so we will do this in descending order by id we need to write desc okay now everything is all right but if you 
do this with the comment column they, they will decorate them according to the alphabetical order but we need to do this by the number which column which comment came last and which column came first that's why we just added another column call id now here we will write another variable result where we will run this query to and then we will echo out this value inside a table so we need to start our table tag and then we will add the table class here some bootstrap class that we have already used in our books page so the class name will be table and table bordered and now after this what we will do we will write a while loop here okay make sure that the parentheses are all right okay now inside this while loop we will give another condition here so here will be variable row and inside this variable we will write another function called mysql i underscore fetch underscore asoc so this will fetch all the values from the table according to the sql query we will give them and then after this inside the while loop we will write the value or we will fetch we will show the value that we have fetched from the table so we will write them in the row and for writing inside a row we need to start our table row tag and then okay we i forgot a semicolon and then we need to close the table row tag so we will echo that too and then here okay so inside this table row we will give our data the data we have faced so we need to echo another we need to write table data and we need to give our values here that we want to give output and then we need to close the table data tag let's add the closing tag here okay so we don't need this double quotation because we will add a variable here the variable name is row and then inside this inside the single quotation we will give the column column name comment and then if we do this we should get the values here whenever we press the button but we did not get anything yes it is not working you see only the two value that we have inserted previously are here the new value is not inserted into our table so the query is not actually working let's see another value so there is something changed okay what we will do if the button is not not pressed then also this value then the value from the table will be shown so let's just show this first later we will see what is wrong with our insertion 
so for now we will just show the value so we need to copy from the dollar q variable from select um, query so from this to the last position and we have just started here and okay so we are selecting the values from the table and we will show this value inside this table and now let's just refresh this okay okay now now the values are showing here from the database or from the table and but the values are outside this box so we need to get, add this inside the box so here is our wrapper box we need to add this div at the last position of our comment let's just delete this and write the ending tag of div here before the body ends okay now the writing should be inside this box let's refresh this now you can see that the box is inside the wrapper box here our values are showing properly now we just need to work on our insertion query again and let's add some break after the comment button okay now everything is all right we will just work on our insertion here you see that whenever we are pressing the insertion button here the value is not added here so why is that because we have added another column inside our table but we have not write anything about it insert our in our insert query so we need to add another insert variable here or inside the values there we need to give a blank single quotation and another one will be our insertion input from the form and why is that because we have added auto increment in our column id because that will be automatically incremented so this will be blank but we need to add this to show that there are two columns so now if we add this and press this you can see the value is added here so let's add some more comment here You see everything is working properly and now you see that if we write many comment here this will overflow from this block from this box or from this wrapper class okay now let's just write some more and this will go beyond the size of the box and after some time you cannot see the other previous comments now you see the comment actually has gone out of the box so we cannot do this so we will what do what we will add a scroll here so that the comment actually scroll inside a particular size we will add a class here before the php tag there we have created a div box here so we will style this we will add a class called div sorry we will add a class called scroll and then inside our style tag we will style this scroll class and for this we will add a height and width width let's say 100 percent but we will give it a height let's say 400 px now and then here we will add overflow if this overflow from this height then what we will do we will add 
automatically scroll here so we can scroll the scroll bar will be added now you see now the comment will not go beyond that height now you can just modify the height of this box let's say 350 now you see the box has shortened a little bit more and now let's go back to our styling okay let's make it 300 yes now everything is all right and if you want you can just delete them because we are just seeing what happens if this exceed the height so for this we need to go operation and then empty the table trunk it then you can see that our table is empty now we will just add two or three comment here you can truncate your registration table too and add some proper value there yes now there is only one or two comment we write it like this